Will you support the U.S. House Resolution 5533 to increase awareness of the nonprofit sector and to increase data collection on the impact that nonprofits have on the public sector? Please elaborate on how important you believe nonprofits are to our country. The, the House resolution I would support as long as it doesn't have additional funding. Um, my issue is that the federal government was not set up to conduct this kind of business. Therefore, when they do that, they assume the uh, the powers that are delegate that are I'm sorry belong to the states that don't have not been delegated to them. Um, I do believe that that nonprofit organizations are the backbone of our communities and we should do everything we can to put money back into the pockets of the individuals so that they can choose their nonprofit organization and make those donations. Some members of Congress feel funding for the arts is pork spending. What do you think? I can understand why they feel that, that it's pork spending because in the Constitution the 18 enumerated powers, art and uh, sciences and supporting those are not included. So this is again one of those points where the federal government has assumed or usurped those powers from the states. Uh, I'm not opposed to the federal government doing that, but if we're going to ask our federal government to do it, we need to do the work, get a constitutional amendment put together, get it pushed through and get it added to our federal government's job. The problem is at this point in time that our federal government has usurped all these powers and they are stretched to the limit and they're providing services they're never meant to to actually provide. Understanding that the Latino community is rapidly growing and many nonprofit organizations may need additional resources, how do you plan to address this need? Not only with the Latino community, but with all communities. Uh, the problem that I see with funding of the nonprofit organizations is the lack of funds that actually remain in the citizens' pockets. So every time the federal government takes that money from you and I, we no longer have that money to give to the nonprofit of our choice. So what happens is uh, people sink into the lull of feeling, I don't have to give because my government's already taking and they're already providing services where the government is, is in essence forcing out the nonprofits because they've taken all that extra money that you and I may have had that if we wanted to be charitable with, we could. How do you believe government and the nonprofit sector should work together? If you don't believe they should work together, please explain why not, and please be specific. Well, I mean, I think the bottom line is government can't function without the nonprofit sector. Uh, right now, so many of the services of the government is tasked with providing are provided by nonprofits. And, and if I could say, I think that trend is going to continue. Uh, I mean, one of the reasons I'm running for state treasurer is I'm very concerned about our fiscal future here in Delaware. And we are looking, in my humble opinion, we are looking at a very significant revenue change over the next three to five years. And a lot of the money that, that is currently in the government isn't going to be there. And we're going to have to start looking at, at pretty tough solutions to, the, to our spending problems. And I'll be honest with you, those of you who work in the, in the nonprofit sector, by the way, thank you, we're going to be coming to you. Uh, I think there's no question that that relationship between government and the nonprofit sector is going to expand. I think even more responsibility of providing services uh, that we are tasked with in government are going to go to the nonprofit sector. And, uh, and I think we absolutely need to continue to work together. And like I said, I think I th we simply could not function. We could simply could not function without uh, the, the nonprofit community. And the other part that I think is really interesting is the nonprofit uh, sector can bring ideas into government. As you know, government can frequently be sort of bureaucratic and insulated, whereas uh, you know lots of uh, organizations in the nonprofit sector have, have a little more flexibility, have a little more freedom, and have the opportunity to go out there and uh, and and find unique creative solutions to problems and I and if we can access that in government I think uh, I think it's a very healthy thing and the other thing is frequently you guys do a better job of it than we do and you do it less expensively so I think uh, I think quite frankly the role of nonprofits is going to increase pretty significantly in uh, uh, over the next few years and I'm excited about it I'm excited about it I think the partnership between uh, our state government and our nonprofit uh, organizations should continue to grow and I think it will and I think that'll be a very healthy thing for taxpayers Sure, I think the government and nonprofit sector have a have should work together in all aspects of, of really providing social services and really particularly the art community because I think that the government can't do everything. 
and as you saw in the current economic climate that the that really that the government was unable to provide certain services just because of the fact that the revenues were down in the state of Delaware. So I think that the government has to rely on the nonprofit sector to provide critical services and sometimes and really more often than not that the government is the inefficient provider of those services particularly that the nonprofit sector has expertise that the government does not have and particularly in those circumstances that the government has to work together with the nonprofit organizations and communities such as Dana and the United Way and other philanthropic organizations to get those critical services to those impacted. And throughout the course of this recession, we've seen families struggle. There's many Delawareans unemployed, and the government can't always provide those services that those people need. So we have to work in a collaborative manner. And if I'm elected treasurer, I'm going to make sure that the nonprofit community has a seat at the table and that they're engaged in these critical issues because of the fact that we need to be partners in something, excuse me, partners in addressing some of these critical issues facing Delaware. Given the current economic reality in Delaware and recognizing the arts and creative sector as an investment that pays off, what policies or practices will you implement immediately upon taking office to grow jobs in this sector and to encourage more creative businesses to locate or start here? Well, I mean, there's a couple of things. First of all, I am an unashamed uh, fan of the arts. Uh, my mom, seven kids in my family, I'm an identical twin, and we, my mom dragged all seven of us to the symphony, the opera, you name it. And we got this, we got this uh, appreciation of the arts from, from day one. Um, I think, quite frankly, government has a role to play in funding of the arts. I know I'm a fiscal conservative and that might surprise you, uh, but I'm a far, firm believer that if, if the market isn't going to provide something, that government may have a role there. Um, and I think the government absolutely has a role in funding the arts because that's not something that, that traditionally the market, the market uh, provides. I also think, as you, as you mentioned in your question, the arts can absolutely be an economic driver. Uh, and we have this diamond in the rough here in Wilmington. Uh, I know Wilmington has some problems, but it's, in some sense it's a, we get a, the sense of a big city and a small city. Uh, I think it could be an arts center. Um, I know that we've uh, worked hard to try to get arts to the downstate communities. Um, I think we absolutely have a role in that. Now, can I tell you absolutely that we're not going to have to cut across the board? No. But I will tell you that in my position as state senator and hopefully as state treasurer, uh, that I would try to defend that, uh, to trend, defend that arts funding as, as much as practical. And uh, the one thing that I can do is uh, make sure that every Delawarean knows where every single penny of their money is going. And I think when people realize how, much, how big our government really is and how much money goes to things that really aren't that productive, I think we'll have an opportunity to start realigning priorities and then we can start talking about putting money into these, uh, into these higher priority things. So it's a, it's a good question and the arts are definitely part of Delaware's future. You know, that's a wonderful question. Thank you for asking because I think there's many things that we can be doing at the Treasurer's Office to promote art and um, other organizations that have similar goals and missions. Um, I think, for example, we can create an investment fund that really can encourage the art organizations, particularly those that are struggling in Delaware, to tap into this fund to loan the needed capital that they need to keep going and sustain these organizations through the course of this difficult economic climate. It's very important that we don't lose these art organizations here in Delaware because art is our culture and art also is a, a wonderful, wonderful base of tourism. So if these organizations fail, we fail. So that's unacceptable. Art has been a wonderful um, contributor to my life and the lives of so many Delawareans and we must make sure that these institutions remain here. I think the second part of your question is how can we attract more businesses to Delaware that have this kind of creative edge and I think there's a lot we can be doing. Number one is that we have to have a targeted marketing effort through the Treasurer's Office working cooperatively with Dito to let these institutions know that we have an environment conducive to art and nonprofit organizations and if I'm elected treasurer I'm going to be pushing this initiative very hard. I know some of us are talking about really this effort to bring in the motion picture industry here to Delaware and promoting legislation that would do that. Also talking about the fact that we need to make sure that that capital is available for art organizations that need to relocate, for example, from Philadelphia, New Jersey, or Maryland that are considering relocation and bring them to Delaware because I think once we have a collective art culture, as you see with New York, Boston, Philadelphia, that you can see that you can draw upon those resources to really create jobs and get this economy moving. We cannot allow these institutions to die because that is our culture, that is what people travel to and what they want to come to Delaware to see, and I think we have a vibrant art community here in Delaware, and I'm going to be one of the biggest proponents and advocates of making sure that the Treasurer's Office has a role in attracting these organizations with us and keeping these organizations financially viable throughout this difficult economic climate.